Hey all, welcome back to my channel Hair Ready. In today's video, we are going to see very important topic when it comes to Python interviews. Since the time when Python interviews got started, till today, these interview questions are being asked about data types in Python. So that is why I am telling this video is very important. And if you are watching my channel for the first time, I should say that in this channel, I am posting a full 90 day AI course with MNC based syllabus. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, make sure you subscribe my channel so that you will not be missing any updates or upcoming videos. Yeah, without any delay, let's get into the video. So these are the five data types we are going to see. String, list, tuple, set and dictionary. So in these data types, we are going to see how they are going to get represented. Maybe it might be within a double quotes, maybe within a brackets or next, if that data type is mutable or immutable. In Python, we call a specific data type as mutable if I can make any changes to it. And if I can't make any changes to that, it is called as immutable. That simple is that. Next, duplicates. We are going to checking out, we are going to check out if in a particular data type that I am going to examine, if that particular data has duplicates or it doesn't have duplicates. Duplicates in the sense, if a particular value is being repeated more than once, in Python, we call that as duplicates. Next, uniqueness. So for all these data types, what is unique? So that you can remember how these data types work in Python forever. Next. In real life, how these data types are going to be used. So we are going to see some real life use cases of all these data types. So you can remember these data types forever. Yeah. First, how string data type will get represented. If you watched my day one on day two video, you might have got clarity on this, especially, especially on day six video when I have shared my screen and explained you how operators work and day 5 video I explained you how to create a variable and to store a string inside. So if I want to create a data type called string in data in Python, what I'll be doing is I'll just create a variable name which is equal to then open double quote or close double quote. Instead of double quote, I could also use single quote and I'll be closing that with single quote inside which I'll be storing a text that I want to store. Next, list. List data type in Python will be stored inside a square bracket. These brackets in Python is called as square brackets. Next to which we have tuple. So these are some brackets that you might have seen in your day to day life even in every statements for specifically adding any examples beside a statement or beside an any explanation. So in Python we call that bracket as parenthesis. And if I want to store any data type inside a parenthesis, that data type in Python is called as tuple. Next, we have set data type and that particular list of values will be stored inside a curly braces. And these brackets are called as curly braces. And whenever I store any values inside these curly braces, it is called a set data type. And the final data type dictionary also looks same. When it comes to brackets, right, both are having curly braces. But what is unique among this? Just look at the screen. Here in dictionary, we specifically have keys and values which got mapped to each other. If I'm storing a name of a person, so name is a key and their person's name, that person's name is a value. If name is a key, the name of that pers person, it might be my name, Benisha would be a value there. If age is a key, if that person's age, that person's age, 20 or 22 is a value there. Next, mutable. Let's see which data types can be changed, which data types can't be changed. I'm repeating it again. If I can make any changes to a particular data, then it is called as mutable data type. If I couldn't make any change, it is called as immutable data type. First, we have string. If I store any values inside a string, we can't make any changes. So in Python, string is an immutable data type. And whenever I add a wrong symbol, it is against what I've added on the left side. So if I added a wrong here, it says it is immutable. It is opposite to mutable. Next, list data type. List data type is 
generally used in a scenario whenever I want to store values which could be edited in future. So that is why list is a mutable data type. I can make any changes in present and future. So for tuple, we can't make any changes. So it is an immutable data type. If I want to store a list of values in future, I shouldn't make any change or even if my team members shouldn't change. So I want to keep the data type in future in the same way that I store. In that scenario, you will be storing that list of values inside a tuple, I mean inside parenthesis. So tuple data type is immutable. Next to which we have set. In set, it is 50% mutable, it is 50% immutable. So the elements of set which can be stored in a way as it is, which means we can't change it. But if I want to add another element, an additional element to a set, I can add it. But the whatever values that I stored, whatever values that I stored inside these curly braces can't be changed. But if I want to add an additional element to those list of values inside those curly braces, I can add it. But I can't change the value that already exists. And as a law of data type, we have dictionary. In dictionary, we can make a change. So it is a mutable data type. If I want to make any specific changes, I can do it. So it is mutable. And as a third difference is we are going to see about duplicates. Which data type will allow duplicates, which might not allow duplicates. Strings. Yeah, it allows duplicates. If I want to store a name of a person as Banisha next to which I want to store the name of a person as Shweta, I can store it. So duplicates are allowed when it comes to string. List. In list, I specifically mentioned at the starting of the video, list is specifically used, generally used for storing list of all values. Whenever I want to make changes in the future, I will be storing those data inside a list, right? So it says that it can allow duplicates. If I want to add list of all values, which may have a repeated value, and that repeated value shouldn't be removed by the data type. In that scenario, I will be using list and tuple. Tuple allow, also allows duplicates. If I want to store a repeated value, I can store inside that. And in set, set is a data type which specifically will never allow duplicates. Even if I store any values that are being repeated, the set data type and Python have the ability to delete it by itself. If I am adding a specific value two times. The second time, the same value which got added will be deleted by the set itself. That is how set works, so it won't allow duplicates. Next, finally for dictionary, it is 50% allowing duplicates and for the 50% it will not allow duplicates. So by looking at this, you can understand so this is where keys of python will be there i mean keys of dictionary will be there and at this place values of dictionary will be there right so keys we can't allow duplicates for values we can allow duplicates for keys if i am adding something left to colon i can i cannot repeat that specific value if i want to add a name i can't repeat the same value once again but for right of colon, the values, which can be repeated again and again. So, duplicates is allowed for values and it is not allowed for keys. This is something that you should remember. So, what you can do is you can take notes on this. And uniqueness. So, you have to remember all these data types, right? We have already seen so many differences, which might be quite confusing. So, for remembering everything, let's see what is unique about each and every data type. When it comes to string, we'll generally be storing any text format, specifically a name of a person, might be a text message, or it might be a file path, likewise. Next to which we have list. If I want to edit the list of all values in future, in that scenario, I'll be storing that in, inside a list data type when it comes to Python. And tuple. 
whenever i want to store a certain list of values which shouldn't be editor in the future then i should be using tuple as a data type as it is immutable immutable means we can't make any changes and if i do not want my data type to allow duplicates so specifically if i am writing if i am storing a data type where a certain column called register number is there where i am storing a uh, admission number so those values will not be same for another person right so for that kind of data i can use set to identify if any duplicates are there if any values are added two times so if i store that particular column inside a set set has the ability to remove the duplicates so i can store that kind of data inside set data type in python and finally dictionary dictionary is specifically used for mapping a value to a value so if i want to store my data type in the format of keys and values maybe if i am collecting a data of netflix my customers so what and all we'll be having name of a person name is a key and their name is a value their mail id is a key their specific mail id is a value mail id is a key and like abc@gmail.com is their value and the contact number is a key and 567432 the contact number is a value if i want to store a data type which got mapped to each other then i'll be using a data type called dictionary and finally real life use cases so a few use cases i have mentioned already so let's see once again so that you will never forget this so string data type is specifically used whenever you want to store a text maybe a link for any videos or maybe for websites so just by adding a variable name called link inside which i can just open a double quote close a double quote inside those double quotes i can store a url so that is called a string data type in real life we can use it for storing a message maybe a link for a text any text and so this is a symbol for shopping cart sorry for drawing in a bad way so list is used for storing a list of values in shopping cart if you are going to a particular maybe a grocery store and you are purchasing some products so you can purchase a same product once again maybe a particular shampoo can be purchased in two bottles you can purchase two bottles and at a scenario when you do not want that particular shampoo you you can just cancel it and even if you order products from any websites or it might be amazon or misho if you do not want it you can cancel it so in a list of all values when it needs to be edited in the future that need to be stored inside a list and for tuple so let's consider i am developing an application for rapido like likewise applications so i am adding gps to that i am building a gps connector inside gps i'll be adding the locations of these places if the one the one i mean the driver who is using that gps application might edit it accidentally so when i want to store data inside my specific memory that couldn't be changed in the future that is when i'll be using tuples so for gps coordinates i can use tuple data type in python and set so what is the use of set whenever i want to store a data type which doesn't have duplicates i'll be using set data type so for storing register number so two person cannot have same register number if i see two register number which is similar it says some duplicates are there so in that scenario i'll be using set which can automatically remove duplicates and finally dictionary user data if i am collecting my user data of any websites or it might be my shopping websites that i build it for my business so name will be mapped to their name their age and number of products they purchased will be matched to their number of products maybe five products they purchased likewise whenever i want to map a particular thing to another thing in that scenario i'll be using dictionary that simple is python data types and these are things that you should remember specifically essentially when it comes to interviews because these question is going to be asked in every interview if you are attending python based interviews 
whenever they mention python as a skill for a beginner as a fresher they'll be asking any of these data types for sure they'll be asking about any of these data types when it comes to python based interviews it might be a developer interview data analyst role data scientist role ai engineer role or it might be an ml engineer role they'll definitely be asking any of these questions yeah bye for now we'll meet in the next video and if you want to take screenshot of this board i'll zoom in so that you could take screenshot